Hi everybody, Lucifer here, and I'm back with Saint Kotar. Now, let's just see how this goes, because last time I was stuck on this floor, I believe. Um, let's just go one by one. Hmm, a blinded dead man. Oh, how fun. A shrieking person. No, I don't really see a shriek there, but okay. Looks like the owner has an alluring hobby. Yeah. Eh, these dolls are nothing special. Except for the big ones at the back. Not counting the headless ones, of course. <laughs> you should definitely take one of them for your private collection. Which one do you choose? You, are you talking to me or are you talking to the guy upstairs? Swing machine? Must be at least a century old. Yeah, not really. Old, definitely a century. No, not really. There's nothing underneath. You okay. Stick. Just a mere wooden stick. Take it. The witch, the king, and the kingdom. The witch, the... What? I know you what he just said. Could be worth taking a look. No pills, just spikes. Oh, that's the jacket. And he's just looking for his painkillers, I believe. A lifeless woman who's been tortured before her death. Eh. That's some messed An up An empty sculpture. basin for holy water. Yeah, that I can see in an old house. Although... The sun is setting. Darkness will be upon us soon. Although it would probably be a priory or something, or priest's house, but I can see that. A man of secrets and silent pain. Silent, full of dead coals. Okay, this guy is an artist. He's messed up. It's bleak like and depressing out there. Very intriguing piece of art. Now, if you would just... You know, go upstairs again. Have no reason to... Okay, you don't have a reason to go back upstairs. Go to the door then. No. You should first search the whole floor. Well, just search the whole goddamn floor. So, do the world a favor. It's not the right key for this door. What? I searched this entire place. Don't think I missed anything. What? Oh. Yeah. Good choice. The image of Jesus. The doll with a thorny crown. Oh. I would... Fascinating. What do we have here? A small brown bag. And it's not just any bag. It's Benedict's bag. So you have to ask yourself why it was hidden here. What's inside? Uh, okay, you will take it, and am I switching back to Benedek or? Uh, 
Okay, yep, there we go. Uh, okay. I believe this is... Okay, I can go doors and the curtains. Can I open it? Let me guess, it's gonna be locked. Yep. I'll have to find a key first. Well, I have a feeling I know where the key is. Can't check the chandelier, so let's go to the wall painting. It's a giant tree with dozens of corpses hanging from its branches and skulls that feed its roots. Ew. The nice. branches represent visual keychain holders, and there's a key hanging as a corpse on one of them. Okay. So we can take the key. I presume this is not gonna fit, but gotta try. I gotta try. It fits perfectly, but the lock won't budge. Well, yeah, these all the keys, they can do that where you can put them in, but you can't turn them. Let me. It's not going to work. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I used the key on the painting cabinet. It's locked. Uh huh. Key cabinet. Appalling. A heap of dead. Dead what? <laughs> that was. That was a mouse. Yeah. <sighs> I Damn know. rats! Rat, okay. I guess that you would uh, go a step or two back if you see it run away, but... It scurried into the wall! Yeah, they tend to do that. Uh, look the interior. Who keeps a heap of dissected frogs in his house? Uh, your sister, apparently. Which is nowhere to be seen. A heap of dead dissected frogs. Is that it? Apparently it is. Uh, Ward up. I can't breathe. It smells so sickening. Oof. Victoria! What is Nikolai! She? What's happening? I'd better check. Yeah, of course, but... Look at that first. Just old clothes. And nothing but mold in them. Okay. Um... This is kind of different from the... place where I've seen. A heap of dead dice. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go down. That window was right above the front door. Which window? Liar said he'd call me. Nikolai! Wait! I have to stop him. I guess Nikolai went outside. But he didn't have a key. Which... Okay, that's weird. We do know that's the point, uh, dolls. Something's amiss here. Nikolai must have touched these dolls. Yep. I'll take the bag, I'll take That's it. my bag. Okay, can you 
Please, take the stick. I don't need it. You're a moron. Anyways, uh... Door. Not before I search my bag. Oh, for the love of God, you... You were just at your bag. Um, you found something? The inside is all wet, slimy. Eh. My rosary is here, and so is my pen. But everything else is gone. Eh. Nikolai must have known the whole time where my bag was. Which means he has my... He has my Bible as well. Or it's Victoria who has it. I, I didn't turn her against him. It was Nikolai who turned Victoria against me. Everybody hates everybody. Maybe it's all part of a wicked plot against me. All she had to do was drag me to this place and put me on the stage like a puppet. And now they are just pulling the strings. They make me sleep in this house. They take my Bible and hide my bag. She disappears, and now... And now he's doing the same. Nikolai is trying to disappear. Get your tinfoil off your head, you idiot. Maybe take the coat? It doesn't belong to any. Well, if it doesn't belong to anybody, then just leave it and get out. Now. New area. Who this? So this is where I look at him. What are these? Nikolai! Really? On the ground, between the leaves, and behind... Who's there? Oh. <sighs> Calm down. Oh, there he is. Why are you doing this to me? Benedict, listen to me. Okay, can I... Shit. I did not save, I believe, so I can... I lost a lot of conversation there. That was stupid of me. It's clear to me what... Two of you are doing behind my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clear to me that what the two of you are doing goes way back. Months before this damn journey. What are you talking about? Let me explain. How would you describe this town? Would you say it's a hidden gem in the mountains? Well, it is alluring, isn't it? To whom? The gem in the mountains were her words. That's how Victoria tried to convince me to go on this journey with the two of you. And when I refused, what did she do? She went to my superior, Father Imre, and claimed Sveti Kotar is a work of God. She convinced him, so I had to go. But I never believed those words. And God knows I was right to do so. We all saw the truth the moment we arrived in this town. Oh, God. You mean the ritual on the square? I found it fascinating. <laughs> okay. Well, um... Can I be a nitpicker? Actually, I can't be a nitpicker because I don't know how uh, is traditional houses look in Gorski Kotar. I just know how they look in my region, which is quite different. But yeah, uh, when it comes to family dynamics, these guys are just... Where's my Bible? Perfect. Again with this question? You must have lost it somewhere. But don't worry, you can probably get a new one in town. I don't want a new one. 
I want exactly that Bible, because it is mine. It was given to me by my father. And no one else except me is allowed to carry it, or even just touch it. Why? Not my sister, not you, not even Father Imre. Why? I know. Calm down. Victoria told me this a long time ago. This journey, this house, the disappearances, it's all part of your wicked plot against me. Back to the team foil. <laughs> a plot against you. Can you hear yourself? I'm starting to believe Victoria was right to have doubts about your health. You want to make me look crazy. Jesus Christ. So this is what this journey is all about. You want to make me look crazy. Put me in a mental institution. You got it all wrong. Jesus. Calm down. Christ. Wrong? You knew the whole time where my bag was. Did Victoria hide my Bible there and then you just grabbed it on your way out? I found something slimy in my bag. Did you drool while stealing my stuff or was it her? Jesus Christ. Benedict. And where is she? Is she hiding in the woods? Do you know? Of course you do. She must have told you that I cannot leave this town without her. So why is she hiding from me? Because she knows I can't leave without her. And this just prolongs the agony of being in this damned place. And that's exactly what's going on here. You want to torment me as long as you can. So what do you do to be sure I won't leave on my own? You steal my documents from the bag. Cuckoo. But you know, before we left, I made her swear on our parents' graves that she would have to take me back to Budapest immediately if I decided so. So no, I'm not crazy. Budapest. Are the two of you done with me now? Does she need to desecrate our parents' remains? You certainly made a point here. I wouldn't say you're crazy, but you got it all wrong. How about I tell you what really happened? Okay, I don't know where Budapest came into picture here because I don't know their backstory or anything, but Benedek, yeah, he's free shits to the wind. You expect me to believe you after everything that has happened? We were robbed, Benedict. When I woke up, my first thought was that you and Victoria stole all my stuff. Including my morphine. Then I went down and found your bag behind the dolls. Unlike my own, yours wasn't empty. So I was right. Victoria put the Bible inside, and you... No. The only things I found in there are a pen, a rosary, and this. Uh. Oh, for the law of God, he's gonna... Are those human eyes? You're the one who's crazy here. Thirty pig's eyes inside a pig's bowel. Horrible, I agree. Ugh. But, uh, that's why your bag was so slimy. This is insane. He's lying. And now that he's come closer, I can notice an unpleasant, musty smell on him. I believe it's what the perpetrator left to mock us. After stealing our stuff, he obviously had a need to leave a mark of his deed. And who's supposedly our perpetrator? The owner of the tavern. Of course. Why would a man who waited a whole day just to give us the keys of the house do such a thing? And why would he take everything but my rosary and a pen? I guess because it's the same man who left a dozen of pig's eyes in your bag. I don't know where he got this bowel, but this story is ridiculous. How are you? So how do you explain Victoria's missing bag then? If that man robbed us without taking our bags, where is hers? Maybe Victoria took it with her. Um. I noticed that the blanket on your bed is wrinkled only on one side. 
Confess, Victoria didn't sleep at all last night. She took her time to do everything you plotted together, oh, and then she disappeared. Enough with this crazy idea that this is all about you! I don't know where Victoria is. When I woke up, she wasn't there. The smell on Nikolai, I just realized. It's the yeah. same odor of the wardrobe upstairs. These clothes he's wearing are not his. He must have taken them. Oh, I'm going to get all of our stuff back. Don't worry. You just stay here and wait for Victoria. What? Wait, no, you shouldn't... Is he going to meet her in town? Or perhaps she's hiding in the woods and waiting for me to leave? Oh, for what should I do? I have to move. I need my morphine. What do you want? Uh, I don't know, he... Let's try not to be a paranoid asshole. I'll wait here. Thank you. And I shall return back in no time. In the meantime, you should try to get some rest. Just no. Wait, uh... Let me just check uh, help, because I kind of forgot. Okay, Q is quick save. Check the switch character, which doesn't work right now. Yeah, definitely doesn't work. I have my bag, my pen, and my rosary. Doors. I'd need a key to see what's hiding behind it. Um, let's see this shit. What was Nikolai doing here? Probably burying the shit he was talking about. Just leaves. Stirred, thrown aside, piled. My identity document. And Nikolai's too. Maybe he hid everything here. Why would he hit his own ID? Jesus Christ. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he hide our documents here? Why his own? Exactly. Okay, I say you I have I I have IDs. Uh, let's see. Thorns. They're withered and woven all over the fence. They probably surround the whole house like a cursed crown. Oh, Christ. Seriously, though, this guy is. The reshit to the wind. I don't know how else to describe him. He is. A paranoid jackass. Ah, my blanket. Okay. Uh, I don't think. Can I take the stick now? I just want a stick. I don't need it. Son of a bitch. Crushing my hopes and dreams. Now. Uh, let me check up the wardrobe again. It's the same odor I smelled on Nikolai. I was right, but... but... Is it possible that he was telling me the truth about the theft? Did that man steal his clothes as well? Now you're actually thinking. Heap of dead frogs. Why am I checking this again? I don't know, but... Eh. I didn't touch the frogs before. How did they fall out? Probably because of that. There's something buried beneath. It looks like it must be. Okay, this is the part, the little part of the game I saw. Ugh. He's walking in place. Uh. 
dude. Dude. Uh, did the game just break? Stop. My Bible. Finally. <laughs> Curse you. Be gone, demonic thing. Jesus. Words and intimidation rarely work. I have to find another way to get rid of it for the sake of my Bible. All right, you stick. Okay, okay, okay. Go away, crawl back to hell, away from my Bible. Did you really? The cross doesn't affect it. <laughs> you didn't kill Tyler, did you? I need to scare the thing off, not keep it here. Seriously. Ben? I know I need to get the stick. I, I'm just curious. Did you even react? I said... That's a strange notion. Exactly. That's the point. So now can I get the stick? Give me the stick. Yes! I got a stick. I got a stick. Now, uh, Mr. Paranoid Dinfoil Man. Uh, it could be useful to repel that. Demon? It's a goddamn rat. Uh, I'm sorry, but this guy is just the most stereotypical. Idiot I have seen in a long while. Not because he was religious, but because he is not well, he's an idiot. He is a paranoid idiot. Go away. <laughs> away from me, demon. God is with me! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you, you just killed the rat. Fine, but... Rot in hell! Don't act like you're a goddamn crusader. Oh, Christ. Is that it? Why yeah. did you adopt this thing, you idiot? Take the Bible. Take it. My Bible! This would never have happened if... If? Back already? Uh, Nikolai? For God's sake, answer me! Somebody coming upstairs. I must get out of here before it's too late. Okay, uh... Can you use the pen on the doors? I 
I struggle to find a reason to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna check hell because there is a way to run, I believe. Uh, examine. Walk to right. Double click. Oh, I'm just gonna hold it. So what? Down through the tunnel. Yay! Go. Down through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna go. One thing I don't understand is why that was the place the playwright thought that introduced me to this game started, but okay. Maybe it didn't, maybe I'm just an idiot. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go out. What do you want? I don't know who that was. It's so dark in there. I cannot stay in this house. I have to go into town and try to find Victoria. Okay. Maybe that was her. Maybe it was Nikolai. Or maybe it was a stranger. God, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I have to leave. Okay, okay. Stop panicking. Well... Uh, let's see now. Ooh, here we have one way, two ways, three ways to go. Let's see. Yeah, four ways to go, huh? I don't know how exactly four, but okay. Anyways, I'm gonna call it a day here. I'm still kind of pissed that I missed the dialogue before, but shit happens. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check the links in the description. Yours to do and mine to hope for. And bye!